Congratulations on your selection of a Cool Attic Gable Mount Ventilator. This video, along with the enclosed instruction booklet, will help make your installation quick and easy. The Cool Attic Gable Mount Fan can be mounted in a variety of different methods. We will cover two of these in this video. Gable ventilators are designed for attics from average to large size and operate most efficiently when air intakes are under the eaves. At least 600 square inches of air intake are required per unit. First, collect the tools required for the job. You will need a hammer, ruler, pencil or marker, screwdriver, an electric drill with a one-half inch or larger wood boring bit, saber or keyhole saw, and a 7 16th inch wrench. Installation will be accomplished in the attic. Therefore, you will need a few pieces of simple safety equipment. You will need a pair of safety glasses, a dust mask to prevent inhaling dust particles, and a pair of gloves in case you have to remove insulation. You will need a few basic supplies. All can be purchased at the store where you bought your cool attic gable mount ventilator. You will need a piece of plywood or masonite sufficient to cover the framed opening over your louver. Also, you will need two number 10 wood screws, approximately 12 nails to attach the plywood to the framing, four number 6 by 1 inch wood screws to attach the fan to the plywood, and one 8 foot 2 by 4 piece of lumber. If your attic has a louvered vent and you choose installation B, then you will possibly need a piece of thin plywood or plastic sheeting to block off some of the louvered area and improve efficiency. If you have an existing gable vent, use method number one. First, measure the distance between the two inch by four inch studs and cut two two inch by four inch boards to fit snugly between them. Nail the two by fours horizontally an equal distance from the center of the vent. Measure the distance from the outside of the framed opening of the louver. Cut a piece of plywood sufficient to cover the opening. Mark a 15 and an 8 inch circle in the center of the plywood. Use the electric drill and wood boring bit to drill a pilot hole for your saber or keyhole saw. Now, saw carefully around the circle, creating a neat fitting hole for the fan shroud. Now, mount the plywood to the framed opening over the louver. Installation over a full gable vent is basically the same, except you will need to cover the remaining section of the vent with plywood to increase the efficiency of the fan. Now that the plywood is properly mounted, use your tools to attach the four flanges to the fan shroud. Slip the fan shroud into the 15 and an 8 inch opening. Fasten the unit snugly using the screws provided. Now, mount the thermostat. Locate a spot on the stud to secure your thermostat. Be sure to keep the thermostat in the airflow. Use two number eight screws to fasten it to the stud. Do not hammer nails through the control box as this can damage the thermostat. In your companion manual, you will find under step 13, a wiring diagram of the thermally protected 115 volt electric motor. Study this diagram before you attempt to wire the thermostat and motor to the power source. First, shut off the power supply line to be used for the ventilator. Thoroughly study the wiring diagram in step 13. The wiring must be in compliance with local codes, ordinances, and national electrical code. Pull the wires through and connect the ground wire to the green screw in the thermostat box. Connect the black wire of the power source to the black wire on the thermostat. Connect the other black wire of the thermostat to the black wire from the motor. The white wire from your source should connect to the white wire from your motor. If you are unfamiliar with wiring methods, secure the services of a qualified electrician. The thermostat will activate the fan from 15 degrees above the setting at which it is positioned. The suggested setting is 85 degrees. The fan will start automatically. It will then turn off when the temperature reaches the setting, 85 degrees in this case. It is simple to check your thermostat when the temperature is less than 100 degrees. Hold a light bulb next to the thermostat. It will elevate the temperature and the fan will activate. Don't use a lighter or any open flame. 
congratulations on an installation well done. It is time to sit back and enjoy the many benefits of your cool attic gable mount ventilator. The cool way to save energy dollars.